This is the most advanced GPU in the world in production today. This is Hopper. This is Hopper. Hopper changed the world. This is Blackwell. Hopper is fantastic, but we need bigger GPUs. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to a very, very big GPU. <laughs> Named after David Blackwell, a mathematician, game theorist, probability. We thought it was a perfect, per, per, perfect name. Blackwell, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy this. Blackwell is not a chip. Blackwell is the name of a platform. Uh, people think we make GPUs, and, and we do, but GPUs don't look the way they used to. Uh, here, here's the, here's, the, here's the, 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 if you will, the heart of the Blackwell system. And this inside the company is not called Blackwell, it's just a number. And um, uh, this, this is Blackwell sitting next to, oh, this is the most advanced GPU in the world in production today. This is Hopper. This is Hopper. Hopper changed the world. This is Blackwell. It's okay, Hopper. You're, you're very good. Good, good boy. Good girl. 208 billion transistors, and so, so you could see, you, it, it, I can see, 
there, there's a small line between two dyes. This is the first time two dyes have been abutted like this together in such a way that the two, chip, the two dyes think it's one chip. There's 10 terabytes of data between it, 10 terabytes per second. So that these two, these two sides of the Blackwell chip have no clue which side they're on. There's no memory locality issues, no cache issues. It's just one giant chip. And so uh, when we were told that Blackwell's ambitions were beyond the limits of physics, uh, the engineer said, so what? And so this is what, what happened. And so this is the Blackwell chip, and it goes into two types of systems. The first one is form-fit function compatible to Hopper. And so you slide on Hopper and you push in Blackwell. That's the reason why one of the challenges of ramping is going to be so efficient. There are installations of Hoppers all over the world and they could be, they could be you know, the same infrastructure, same design, the power, the electricity, the thermals, the software, identical, push it right back. And so this is a Hopper version for the current HGX configuration. And this is what the other, the second hopper looks like this. Now this is a prototype board. And um, Janine, could I just borrow? Ladies and gentlemen, Janine Paul. And so this, this, is, the, this is a fully functioning board. And I'll, I'll just be careful here. This right here is, I don't know, $10 billion. <laughs> the second one's five. It gets cheaper after that, so any customers in the audience, it's okay. <laughs> All right, but this, is, this one's quite expensive. This is the bring up board. And, um, uh, and the, the way it's gonna go to production is like this one here, okay? And so you're gonna take, take this, it has two Blackwell, die, two, two Blackwell chips and four Blackwell dies connected to a Grace CPU. The Grace CPU has a super fast chip-to-chip -chip link. What's amazing is this computer is the first of its kind where this much computation, first of all, fits into this small of a place, second, it's memory coherent. They feel like they're just one big happy family working on one application together. And so everything is coherent within it. Um, the, just the amount of, you know, you saw the numbers. There's a lot of terabytes this and terabytes that. Um, but this is, this is a miracle. This is a, a this. Let's see, what are some of the things on here? Uh, there's um, a, a MV Link on top, PCI Express on the bottom, on, on uh, your, which one is my and your left? One of them, it doesn't matter. Uh, one, of the, one of them is a C, CPU chip to chip link. It's my left or your, depending on which side. I was just, I was trying to sort that out and I just kind of, doesn't matter. <laughs> Hopefully it comes plugged in, so. <clears throat> Okay, so this is the Grace Blackwell system.